Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to Geek Squeaks. This is where I give you guys news about movies, TV shows, and things like that. So we are going to jump straight into this one because I'm sure that you guys have heard about it. Miles Morales, live action movie. Let's talk about it. Our neighborhood friendly Miles Morales Spider-Man is getting an awesome live action movie and Sony, uh, well I guess really, Spider-Man producers tease this and it's crazy. They mentioned that it's all happening including an animated Spider-Woman film. And with Across the Spider-Verse coming to us this weekend, producers are trying to get everybody super hyped and they're doing a really good job honestly. I know that Sony is really excited and proud that Spider-Man is just really bringing this resurgence of I mean, money, but also just fans back into their arms after everything. I mean, Spider-Man has been their go-to, honestly. Obviously with the success of that and again, everyone hyped for that, they wanted to go ahead and drop this sweet news for us. So like I mentioned, Amy Pascal and Avi Arad gave us some updates about our web-slinging friends. So Amy says that Spider-Woman and the live action Miles Morales movies are in the works and she's quoted saying, you'll see all of it, it's all happening. And Avi was saying that moviegoers will see some kind of hint of Spider-Woman sooner than we expect. And it kind of has me thinking that we'll see something like that either at the end of Across the Spider-Verse or possibly maybe just kind of sprinkled throughout. And we'll have to see kind of what happens with it. I'm, I'm excited about that because it is animated. So I do wonder if we're going to pull uh, Issa Rae's Spider-Woman from that and give her her own thing. Is it going to be someone completely different? Very interested to see what they do with this. And you guys know there are a total of three Spider-Verse movies we already had into the Spider-Verse across the Spider-Verse. And now that Across the Spider-Verse is in theaters, they're preparing for the third installment next year beyond the Spider-Verse. So obviously it makes sense with that, that they're ready to move Miles on to a live action movie. There've been plenty of hints and Easter eggs, but we've always wondered when it was gonna happen. It wasn't a matter of if, but when, right? We don't have any sort of secrets or details regarding the Miles Morales live action movie. We don't know who could be playing Miles. We don't know what the story would be about, uh, but I'm excited for it. It's gonna look so good. I know they're gonna do it justice. With that being a thing, I do wonder how we're going to incorporate live action Miles into, you know, this fourth Spider-Man movie that they're talking about. I know there's been a lot of talk about whether Tom Holland still wanted to, if he still wanted to continue as Spider-Man or not, but the fourth Spider-Man movie is coming and it'll have him, Zendaya. I know uh, Deontay and I talked about this a lot. Steven and I talked about this a lot. I know a lot of people have concerns about Zendaya's name being attached considering everything that happened with Spider-Man No Way Home. I don't think that just because she's going to be in it as MJ means that they're undoing what they did in Spider-Man No Way Home. And I think us jumping to that conclusion is pretty crazy. <laughs> Whether that means that it'll happen at the end of the movie or in a couple of movies or if there's a time jump, we just don't have that information regarding what the plot is and what they're going to do with the fourth Spider-Man movie. I know a time jump will be a little cheap considering that I know people want to see him actually kind of do his thing and maybe get out there do some other adventures and meet more people and whatnot as spider-man since peter parker has been forgotten right but i know that they really love tom holland and zendaya together i mean who doesn't but um i don't think that they're just going to undo everything i think they are going to leave that there to kind of sit for a while and if i'm wrong i will eat my words in the review <laughs> obviously they're trying to work that out and figure that out but we are on a writer strike which is obviously very important as a writer myself i totally understand honestly take as much time as you need because pay these people but yeah of course with the writer strike nobody is working and pretty much a lot of people that i have seen involved in some studios and whatnot they're trying to be supportive throughout this entire thing while they get stuff together I just wanted to drop that spidey news on you guys. Of course, we have more that we can talk about here in the next coming days. Of course, I'm trying to get all of my stuff cleared because as we know, the summer is upon us. <laughs> the summer is upon us. So not only does it mean we're getting a lot of movies, we have the Flash movie this month. Uh, we even have the, the Boogeyman. Of course, I mentioned Across the Spider-Verse. We have a ton of movies, even some smaller movies that I haven't talked about on the channel that I wanna try to go and see. So that way I can get back to being on top of those initial thoughts and full reviews. Be on the lookout for a couple of things that are gonna be hitting the YouTube channel here soon. But more importantly, get ready for Comic-Con guys. July, 2023, July 19th to be exact, we can look forward to a lot of Comic-Con things. I definitely have to be on top of my A-game because we wanna talk about those trailers. We wanna talk about the news. Obviously we're not gonna be able to see everything inside the room because I'm not gonna be going this year. Um, but I do want to try to make sure I work 
on trying to get tickets or volunteer or something this coming September, just so the way I can be there to experience it and maybe do a vlog for you guys in the future. It's been a goal of mine for a while and um, I talked to Steven about it today and maybe that'll be a uh, birthday present whenever the tickets go on sale. But yeah guys, if you like this video, why don't you look around the channel and find another one that you like? There's a ton of content related to superheroes, Spider-Man, and just some things even outside of that as well. We'll see you guys later. Bye!